Hey everyone, Helena here with your shiny shelf for the day and you know it's that little nudge in the right direction just so that you feel better and better. Um, now here's the thing, are you letting yourself be excited? And I asked that on purpose because recently I've met quite a few people who are just kind of holding everything at a low key and, and the thing about that is is that your body starts to forget how to be excited and vibrant and excited um you know sort of so so that feeling of exhilaration that feeling of joy that kind of comes from being excited about something whether that's the new book you're going to read the festival you're going to the thing you're going to make whatever it actually is are you letting yourself be excited and and so you'll get that in my energy at the moment there's there's a there's a vibrancy there's a a pull to to be kind of up about something because actually that just makes you feel good so sometimes you know we can downplay things and people in the UK downplay them more than more than most i think um so if you are downplaying something, oh, you know, we're going to see, I don't know, Phantom of the Opera for its celebration, or, you know, we're, we're off to see some music, musician or whatever it is. Like, don't just say it like that. Say it with excitement because actually you're doing something special. And the more you put the special things mm -hmm. in, the easier it is for your body to kind of play along with you. The easier it is for your mind to feel that stimulus. And excited equals kind of happy. And who wouldn't want a bit of that? So what have you got to get excited about? And if you look at your diary and you go, hmm, nothing to get excited about, or hmm, it's all a bit humdrum and along the line, then go find something to be excited about. Because that's the whole point, right? We live vibrant, juicy, excitable lives. So go live yours. Go find something to be excited about. Many blessings. I'll catch you tomorrow. Helena Holdrick, just in case you don't know me.